Hey guys, today I want to show you my best 3 spots to get Orichalcomor. Now the first one that I would pick up, we will have to teleport all the way up here to Shattered Mountains, Midgard Shrine. Let's go to Midgard Shrine. So we traveled up here and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and into the left but straight away we'll have our calcum wanes down here now for this i would advise you to use the gear that is that has corrupted ward on it even though the mobs are not as strong as you would think but it it, it most definitely helps there we go we already have the first one I didn't use any food yet. Okay. It's a small difference, but it helps. I will go forward from here. We have another node next to this tendril. This is also a uh, spot where you get the uh, the trophy for your corrupted. They're farming the boss over there usually all the time. So this could be the the notes over here. They won't be contested as much. There's a really large node over there spawning that's not there at the moment. But usually, besides that spot, or all the way around here... Oh, look at it. It just spawned. It's not contested. And you can still do your... Corrupted uh, Trophy Farm with farming... The Orichalcum. You should also be careful about your uh, attributes. I have them on lumberjacking at the moment, so I'm uh, health orientated instead of strength because uh, strength uh, after 250 strength you get 10% more yield. So that's a really good idea to stack in. Just do this without being interfered. There we go. You will have this ancient chest here that can bring you some riches as well. Uh, he's gonna take that one now if we continue down the oh he took this one okay sure now for the second and the third one we will go to Rickwater and we will take the Sirens Run teleport over here. Uh, just for the reference point, uh, we will use a marker. Now, uh, one of the first nodes is actually over here, and they will be all the way down here. So we will go. We will be traveling south. As you can see, we passed uh, four Ironwood nodes as well. That's something that you could farm on the way if some doesn't beat you to to the punch, which uh, in my case uh, somebody did. 
that also could mean that we will be unlucky but i already see one node over there hopefully it's still there and he's competing for it uh so this is a uh, selino seco it's uh uh, each time we're here it's more popular spot so uh, this could be uncontested as well but uh, this guy obviously is not a bot I guess but as you can see there's one two nodes three and four and then you just wrap around the this is gold I think gold and another node you have two more nodes down there another two and this is all in close proximity look uh, one of them already spawned because he has the timer right this is more i would say more of a one man spot if you're lucky to get here in time so that it's just yours so this concludes the second spot oh he's all he's even pvp flagged so yeah but if you're lucky and this is free, this is this is just an amazing spot. Okay, let's uh, teleport back to the to one of my homes and uh, go for the third spot. Now for the third spot, we're going at, for the same fast travel point. I marked it up north, you see next to the Vir Viroto, Kroto and Rackman's Hollow. Okay. So there's uh, this cave over here has a chest. That I like to pick up because there's a chance of trophy materials in it. These are angry earth, my gear is uh, corrupted, so takes some time. No luck this time. Then we're gonna run around here to the left side and jump on these rocks. As you can see, this was the first node. And then there's second. I just saw the guy running right in front of us, so yeah, that's a small chance. Oh, one of them respawned, okay. We'll take that. So what you basically do, this because this is uh, underground, you uh, you basically run around here on the top of the mountain, and there's gonna be nodes. Uh, I'll show you guys. Now this is uh, a little bit least favorite than the one for the other players than the one that I showed you before, uh, and. Look, th there's two more. He's mining the second one. He There's another one where he is. And then there's one on top here. Which you will be able to see when we turn around to the top of the mountain. Okay, he's, he's gonna get that. <laughs> he's full strength as well. See, there's three here usually gets one two here and third one over there oh a big one just respawned down there 
he's got a rapier and fire staff so he's way quicker than me now on top here you have some star metal star metal ore as well three three notes so basically as you can see that i'm on bari the server is quite full usually i mean it is a big server with large population so this um, to have only one here at the moment is quite quite good so i think this spot is actually quite nice uh, but usually usually if you get the right time you'll be uh, the only one here plus the good thing is that the nodes if you have them in a good rotation uh, they will be respawning for you all the time so it's not gonna be boring farming this Okay, so uh, for the fourth one, I want to show you another spot and I'll show you and explain you why I think that spot is better than the other ones. But yeah, let's go into, let's go right there. Need to uh, teleport back to one of my houses. And this one, of course, is the Imperial Palace uh, Circle Ring. Let's teleport over there. Let's see how much crowd is there. I already did a video on it a uh, couple of months ago. Okay, we have some ore right there straight away. So it's a huge star metal note. Now why I think this uh, route is really good? Because we have star metal and orichalcum. Which means that you will be basically gathering uh, a precursor to Orichalcum ingots, uh, which is star metal ingots, and that's why I think it's uh, it's really good. So on this side is pretty much just uh, star metal. Besides this spot on my left right now, which is Orichalcum, two nodes. careful about these uh, these two uh, rocks because on the back of them there is a, there is always a note and people don't notice it a lot of the times I hope I won't drown right here So just to explain again, uh, this side is star metal and then the other side plus this side over here is on the smaller island, it's uh, orichalcum. So still star metal and the first oracle come two notes right here. It 
takes quite a lot of running. It's not the ideal spot, but I, I still kind of like it because... And I, I can see by the... By the dead NPCs that... Somebody's right in front of me, so there's no luck with the Orichalcum, as you can see right there. Oh, that one just spawned over there, which means he's right there. He just uh, collected that one. But I still... I st oh, it's actually two. They're competing. <laughs> no, it's one. <laughs> Never mind, I'm blind. So... there, There is more... Sp more, more spots. Uh, one of them that I would like to point out is the Midgard Mines. You can be like uh, picking up Orichalcum, but you have to fight a lot of mobs. And the other one is actually the uh, Thunder King Grotto, where you will be getting thick height by killing the lions and collecting a couple of notes of orichalcum so i hope this video helps in uh, you deciding where to go and uh, gather the resources uh, one of the things that i would try to, uh, that i want to tell you as well is that new world is an open world and the more you are hung up to just one one of the maps or one particular resource the faster i believe it gets boring so i actually usually roam the world uh, explore and uh, trying to enjoy myself not to preoccupy my mind with chores is too much but yeah, I hope it helped. If it helped, please consider cons uh, liking and subscribing. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.